representing the Dog Pound with an 0-1 record weighing in at 248.5 pounds, Cameron Holtzlaw. I'm going to tell you, Cameron brought a lot of fans with him tonight. Yeah, I think uh, 400 and 432. 32. You know, a really nice guy. He did bring a lot of, a lot of fans coming out of the McMinnville Sheridan area. And his opponent coming out of the blue corner from Canby, Oregon, representing KHJ Jiu-Jitsu with an 0-0 record, weighing in at 233.5 pounds, Mike Landers! Mike coming in with an 0-0, Cameron coming in with an 0-1, so you know both these guys are gonna be really hungry. Randall, head of uh, KHJ. Yep, yep, there he is. I actually trained with uh, Randall for a little while also. A great trainer. Definitely strong, very knowledgeable. Very knowledgeable. I know he's uh, worked me over a little here and there. He doesn't do anything light. No, he doesn't. <laughs> he has a way of making those, uh, those light hits that uh, he hits you with. Uh, he has a way of making you think that they're light uh, when they really feel real heavy. You're like, hey, where did this bruise come from? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, again, James and myself, Mike Smith, we really uh, have a lot of fun doing this. We appreciate you guys coming out and these fighters. Again, I definitely have to give you some credit, James. Uh, you know, the quality of fighters we respect. Look at that. Like we said earlier, these big guys really like to throw those uh, fists. Yes, they do. He's got him. Uh, he's got him in a position there. He definitely does not want to be in. Well, if he grabbed his arm right there, he almost set himself up. Slip that leg through. He's trying to work it. Look. You know, even from the, uh, even Mike on that bottom position there, uh, you can see him trying to, to slip a uh, uh, Kimura in there. Uh, I think that's what he was going for there for a second. He's doing a good job keeping his uh, leg down in there. Yep, yep. Again, no hits on the back of the head. The spine. <laughs> They're not... Uh, have any forward movement there? No, no. Advancing. It's one of the reasons why the crowd loves Dave Hagen so much. He, stands uh, him up. Stands him up. Some good news for the body there. Oh, that was a groin shot there. That's another thing you're not able to do. He's going to give us some time, make sure he's all right. Walk that off there. He's just showing he's got up to uh, five minutes, is that? Yeah, five, five, up to five minutes. I don't think that most fighters don't take that much, but uh, definitely take a breather, readjust. Again, they all have mouthpieces and cups on. It's gonna give him a warning. Probably won't take a point away, unless he does it again, but uh, 
did warn him there. The judges will take that into consideration though. Come around. Mike, I think, coming out there pretty smart, uh, being real aggressive right off the bat. Charging him, yeah. Yep, after, after uh, a shot like that where the other person has to take a rest, I mean, when you come back in, you know, take advantage of it. Foot stomp. Yeah, more irritating than anything. <laughs> Definitely irritating during the fight tomorrow morning when he can't walk. Uh, yeah. Be a little more than irritating. But. Oh, nice. Crowd loves it when the big guys stand up and just try to box it out. Yep. Great round there. Got to see a little bit of everything. As you can see, a little winded. A little bit, three minutes is uh, three minutes is forever. It doesn't seem like it's ever gonna stop. Chris Cope supplying us the sound. Coming out of Washington. Randall and Bill Bradley there, talking to uh, Mike Landers. And we've got Ray Carpenter there, who will be fighting in our next show. Uh, Trains with uh, Cameron Holtzbach. Getting a lot of good sponsors out here. That like to see the community uh, stepping up and uh, doing some sponsorships, trying to support our uh, organization. Definitely, definitely. Oh, look at that. Whoa. Nice. Oh, really try to do a hip toss there. Reverse it before they hit the ground. Yeah, I don't know. Let's I know you were Mike working him. with them. Did they, both these guys have a pretty strong wrestling background? Uh, you know, La uh, Mike Landers, I, I don't believe, had uh, the wrestling background. I, I believe uh, Cameron, the whole dog town uh, crew. Looks uh, like he's actually bleeding here. Cameron a little bit. Yep. Hit his nose on, uh, I believe, uh, Mike's head there. Oops, just enough. Boy, to he's taking mad. it down. Yeah, that's. I mean, you know, you talk about a 185. These guys are over 200 pounds, and he's he's definitely bringing it down. And again, you know, he's up over those hips. I mean, oh, that's shrimp. a really. He's trying to shrimp out of it, but he's uh, bad position to be in. Yep. Oh, look, nice move, nice reversal there. Again, that just shows you how tired these guys are. Yeah, it does, and man, I can tell you what, there, there's a little bit of blood being lost, I think, by both of them there. Good, keeping his hands, tying him up there. He's doing exactly what you were talking about earlier, you know, really focusing on the one. You know, it's really difficult once once you're, uh, especially into the second round of the fight, you're slippery, you're sweaty. It's uh, it's a lot harder to hold on. A lot of people are sitting there going, oh, just hang on to that. Well, it's not so easy to hang on to it when you're, uh, when you're sweating and bleeding. Definitely the judges, you know, they definitely like to see a guy on the ground on, on the bottom work still not just in a defensive mode but in an offensive mode gotta love Dave man standing him up getting those big legs coming in for those kicks that can take a big guy down yep. a couple of those on the thighs or Trained a lot of those with Cage today. Mike is uh, Mike is just showing his training there. Those inner leg kicks and outer leg kicks. Both the hands are dropping a little bit. 
There we go. Cameron uh, threw a good leg kick there right at the end of that round. Thinking they're getting a little rest there. Give him a hand, ladies and gentlemen. Cage Crew's got a little bit of work to do now. I'll tell you what, there's a lot of blood lost by both those guys. For the ring girl. And don't and forget, the, uh, the merchandise booths are still open. Maria. Out on the foyer. And also in here, Hooligan Inc. on the south side and our friends at Fishes Fight Gear to the north. Fight fans, give yourselves a round of applause. They're still getting exact numbers, but this is the largest crowd at a cage fight the Salem Auditorium has uh, seen yet. 2,600 plus. I want to hear from all 2,600 right now. Let's hear it. Yeah, I think Chris was actually off a little bit. I think uh, numbers are more closer to 3,100. And I think we've had up to 36 in here. 30, uh, 3,700 was actually our largest show. Um, did really well. Uh, this is a great crowd. This is uh, pretty much maximum capacity for what we're running right now. You know, again, this is really where your endurance and your training really steps in. Uh, not only are you you're tired, you've been pushing it really hard and uh, into the third round. Good takedown. Boy, you can see the guys at the VIP tables uh, really enjoying themselves. <laughs> We got the beer gardens here, and uh, you know we are a family show, definitely. But the uh, the VIP tables are definitely a good place to be. You're right in front of the action. Yep, yep. Six feet from the side of the cage. Couple more seconds. Dave's gonna stand him up. There it is. Yeah, you know, again, I can't say enough with that. Uh, putting the show on uh, as we do, you know, we really appreciate a ref that's going to bring it up, step them up, really give an even plane for these guys to fight. If there's not a lot of forward movement, he's standing them up. Both these fighters are uh, delivering some good leg kicks. Some of that also is going to give them a little rest. They're, they're chopping away, trying to figure out, okay, what are we going to do now? Oh, nice hit. Jumped right in. Yeah, as you see, Cameron's bringing his hands up now after that hit. Oh, yeah. See if they'll do a foot sweep. No. Nobody wants to go down to the ground. Well, no, Dave's just going to stand him back up. Back fist, eh? <laughs> oh. Nice. See Cameron just reach in and grab that leading hand and uh, pull him right into it. <laughs> Both these fighters are looking a little bit heavy on their uh, on their leading leg to me. It looks like uh, those leg kicks are definitely taking some uh, taking some toll. Yeah, plus with all the work that they've been doing, definitely uh, doesn't take too long. Boy, he's really bringing it there. Uppercuts. There's 400 plus uh, happy fans right there. Absolutely, you know, his primary discipline's been freestyle, but uh, he's definitely been working on his stand-up game. Again, definitely give it up to Mike. You know, he, uh, he hung in there and was really trying to to figure out a game plan, and uh, tonight Cameron was just uh, on top. Yep, yep. You know, again, we really appreciate all the sponsors uh, that are out here, local businesses that are really trying to support Capital City Cage Fight and the amateur platform. You know, they really, once they come to the show, they see, you know, there's a lot of great fighters even at amateur level. Oh, there are, definitely, definitely. Uh, some of these guys, it's, uh, sometimes it's hard to find a fight for them because they're right at that level where they should go pro. 
What a fight, ladies and gentlemen. And winner by TKO at two minutes and 55 seconds in the third Definitely hear the crowd for him. Oh yeah, definitely. Congratulations, Cameron. Outstanding fight. I can see y'all are winning. What kind of uh, what kind of conditioning have you been doing to prepare for this fight? Uh, just working out a couple days here and there, you know. Awesome. Anybody you want to thank? Uh, I want to thank my dad for always being there for me. I want to thank uh, Ultimate Fight Outlet for hooking me up with my shorts and gloves. And I want to thank the CCCF for uh, get putting this show on. And most of all, I want to thank all the fans for coming out. Thank you, Cameron. Give it up, Cameron. Hold You know, one of the things, uh, really put a stand-up fight card together.